Okay, can you see that there? Yeah. All right, this book. Okay, this book is called Follow the Star. There's like a million of them. Follow the Star by Rachel Brown. And it's dedicated to her children. Small Camel was the newest little camel in Balthazar's corral. His feet were too big for his skinny legs. He had a very small hump, but he had big, beautiful eyes and long eyelashes. I love you, whispered his mama. You will grow up to be strong. You will carry heavy loads to faraway places. Balthazar will be proud of you. Bye. So has any of you guys, please raise your hands if you've ever seen a camel in a zoo or maybe a picture. Oh, well, looks like some of you guys have seen a camel. Camels are amazing animals. And, and maybe somebody could tell me, where do camels normally live? In the desert. Yep, they normally live in the desert. And this thing here, this hump, that can store actually water. Like here in the baby, they can store lots of water in the desert where there's not much water. Okay, let's continue our story. Balthazar was a wise and wealthy man. He traveled far with his camels. He watched the stars and wrote in long scrolls, and the scrolls were covered with important lines and words. What do the lines and words mean? Small camel asked. Mama shook her head. Balthazar knows, she said. Anybody know what this thing is that I'm circling here? With my yeah. cursor. Does anyone know what that is? Mm -mm. What is that? Oh, Max, you know what is it? Max says it's a sand clock. Yep, it's a sand clock. They call this an hourglass. And people flip this upside down and the sand goes from the top to the bottom slowly, and it's how they used to tell time. They call it an hourglass or a sand clock. And you notice here that no electricity, all his light is by the single lamp, which is filled with oil that can burn uh, above his head. Okay. One evening as the sun began to set, a bright star appeared on the horizon. Balthazar gathered his servants. This is the great star I have waited so long to see, he told them. We must prepare for a journey. Groom the camels, pack enough food and clothing for many weeks of travel across the desert. So you see they're getting ready to travel across the desert, and they're going to have to pack a lot of food to head towards this beautiful star here. Small camel watched the servants brush the furry coats of the big camels and put blankets on their backs. The saddle that Balthazar would ride was placed on Mama's hump. Many bundles were tied onto the other camels. Small camel knew he was too small to carry so much. He would have to stay home. His stomach ached and he started to cry. He snuggled close to his mother. I don't want you to go, Mama, he said, sniffling. When will you come back? See, he feels kind of sad. His mama's going to be on a big trip. And here they're getting packets of food and clothing ready for the big, long trip. Just then, Balthazar came out of his house dressed in fine traveling clothes. He carried a small bundle and a rope halter. And see here, here's the rope in the small bundle. These are for you, small camel, he said. I don't want you to miss this important journey. I think you are big enough to carry one special package. Balthazar put the halter around small camel's head. He put a beautiful blanket over his hump. He tied the bundle in place. Small camel was so excited, he could hardly stand still. Where were they going? What was he carrying? Boy, that's an interesting hat he has. And there you see the star. 
Now we're going to try to play this movie up here and see if this movie will work. Okay, here we go. Camels are specially adapted to desert life. This means that their bodies have special ways of dealing with the desert's harsh environment and lack of water. An adult camel can sometimes go without water for 15 days. That is especially important on a long journey like the one small camel is about to take. A camel can also carry more weight than a horse or a donkey can. Camels can carry as much as 300 pounds on their backs. And they don't need to stop for a drink as often as a horse or other animal might. Were you able to hear that and see that? Ms. Cosby, were you able to hear that and see that? Yes, sir. Oh, good. All right. After sunset, Balsazar and his caravan headed out into the desert. They would travel at night after the hot sun had gone down. Okay. Balsazar rode high on Mama's hump, right there, and Small Camel walked close behind. Ahead, the stars shone very brightly. Look how they're following one another right across those sand dunes. The next morning, Balthazar stopped in a small town where the camels were unloaded. There he met two friends, Melikor and Gaspar. The three men got out their scrolls and huddled together. Saul so Camel could hear them talking about the beautiful star and something else, a baby king. In the evening, the camels were loaded again. Two more packages, one from Melikar and one from Gaspar were added to Small Camel's hump. How many, how many packages does Small Camel have now? Three. 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 three, that's right. Now he was carrying three special bundles. The load was heavier, but it felt just right. What could be in these bundles, Small Camel wondered. Night after night, Small Camel and his mother walked and walked. Each morning as the sun was rising, the travelers set up their tents. Look at that big tent. Balthazar, Melikar, and Gaspar checked their scrolls and marked where the bright star was. Their servants prepared food for the travelers. Fresh water and grass were brought for the camels, and everyone rested during the day. Here you see them taking a big drink. A little uh, fun thing. In the desert, it's better to travel at night when it's cool and rest during the day when it's hot. Sort the daytime and nighttime things. So do you think this is a daytime or a nighttime thing, this tent here? Are you listening? What do you think? Is that a daytime or a nighttime? Nighttime. What do you guys think? It's you think it's nighttime? Let's see what it says. No, because they're sleeping during the day. Let's put it in the daytime. Okay, now here the camels are drinking. Are they drinking in the daytime or in the nighttime? Daytime. Yep, they're drinking in the daytime, I think. Now the star, can you see the star in the day or in the night? Night. Yeah, you can see the star in the night. Okay, and here's little camel, and he's carrying a package. Is he is he walking at night or is he walking in the day? Yay. Yeah. Well, let's see. I don't think he's no. I think he's walking at night. Okay, and here it looks like they are resting. Are they resting in the day or the night? Night. I don't think so. I think they're resting during the day, and that means they are walking at night. Great job. You sorted all the pictures of daytime and nighttime in the desert. Okay. So let's continue the story. Camels can walk for a long time, even without water. But Small Camel was very young. They had been traveling for months, and he lost count of the days and nights. 
Are we there yet, Mama, he asked. My feet hurt. When will we find the baby king? I don't know how long the trip will be, said Mama, but, but I know Balthazar will take good care of us. We can always trust him. So, small camel felt a little better, but his feet still hurt, and he wanted to be at home, resting on fresh straw in his own corner of the corral. So here we have another little fun thing. The great star will lead Balthazar in his caravan to find the baby king. Draw what you might think they see when they get there. Now, uh, unfortunately, you guys can't draw, but we know that he will, they're going to certainly see a big star when they get there. And they're probably going to see a little baby. Uh, I don't know how good my little baby looks. The little arm right there. And here's his little eye. Well, I can't get the little eye to work there. All right. Let's continue. At last, one day at dawn, the caravan came over a hill. Balthazar stopped. The star, the star was shining directly above a village just ahead. Look how big the star looks. Oops, we've lost our size there. The star was shining directly above a village just ahead. This is the place, he told the weary group. This is where we will find the baby king. Where's the place, Mama Small Camel asked. Balthazar will find it, Mama replied. Balthazar led the caravan through the streets of the town. They followed the light of the star until they could see it shining over a very small house. Oh, Mama, there must be a mistake, said Small Camel. This is a poor man's house. Surely a king wouldn't live there. Outside, a carpenter named Joseph worked at his bench. Here we see Joseph. He put down his tools and invited the travelers into the courtyard. And the courtyard is this little area here. Balthazar gently pulled on small camel's halter. Come with me, he said. Inside the courtyard sat a young woman named Mary. In her arms, she held a beautiful child, little Jesus. Small camel dropped to his knees as he has been trained. See how he's down here? Balthazar spread the blankets on the ground and put the bundles on it. I wonder what's in those bundles. And what was in those bundles? Small camel had been carrying presents, presents for Jesus. Malkiar unwrapped a chest filled with shining gold. Balthazar's gift was a pot of spicy frankincense. Gaspar set out a tall jar of sweet smelling myrrh, which is a kind of a perfume. Mary bounced her baby on her, on her lap. He smiled when he saw the presents. He giggled and he clapped his hands at the little camel kneeling before him. Small camel forgot how tired he was. He forgot how much his feet hurt. He forgot the long months walking across the sand. He didn't know why the house was not a palace. He didn't know why the baby wasn't wearing a crown. But small camel knew this baby was a king. Let's see what's up here. How did Balthazar know where to find the baby king? Was it the star or because of the presence or did the camels lead him there? Oh, what do you guys think? Star. The star. Let's click on it. That's right. The star was shining directly above the village where the baby king could be found. Okay. At last, it was time to go. Everyone, even the camels, gathered around Joseph, Mary, and little Jesus. The baby smiled and cooed. His sweet laughter filled the weary travelers with peace. I'm proud of you, Balthazar whispered to Small Camel. You've done a very good job carrying those precious gifts. Small Camel had never been so happy. Small Camel grew tall and strong. Just as his mother knew he would, 
He traveled often with Balthazar, and to together they visited many wonderful places and had wonderful times. But none of the trips was as special to Small Camel as that first trip across the desert where he carried the presents for baby Jesus.